folks, your main man Jim Allen here, and listen, of course you guys know I was supporting Donald Trump, I was voting for Donald Trump, but after, after watching the DNC convention, um, and hearing, I, I heard a lot of things that I, that I never heard, okay, and I heard a lot of things that I just didn't know as it relates to, uh, uh, Kamala Harris and, 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 and even the Biden-Harris administration, there was a lot of things I didn't know, a lot of things that I had never, ever heard. And of course, you see all kinds of things online, right? You read all kinds of stuff online, but but when you're a critical thinker, you don't know if that stuff is 100% true. Is it 50% true? Is it just not true? Is it, you know what I'm saying? So is it right? Is it half right? Is it totally not right? Uh, but watching the DNC convention, Democratic National Convention, Conf Democratic National Conference Convention, watching that convention, and not for the entertainment. The entertainment was good, but I watched it for the substance. I, I wanted to get something out of it. I wanted to see if the, the Democratic National Convention, if it could change my mind, if, if it would make me change my vote. So I was open as I was watching it. I was open, my mind was open as I was watching the convention. And it, it, it swayed my mind, it swayed my mind because once again, I heard things that I just did not hear, and I think that I think that is the fault of the Biden Harris administration. Is that so? What I wanted to do in this video is to explore and sort through my emails so that I could possibly find uh, different a different perspective from a different demographic of people that could explain to me their mindset in a logical way. And I thank you guys for sending me content to react to. And I'm always going to put a link to the content creator down in the description because I always want to give credit where credit is due and make sure you all tap into the Patreon. Uh, link is in the description. And then teach Hanley 40% off your first order, 20% off a life. That link is in the description also. Uh, I always want to try to get a different form or different mindset, right? And so this guy in particular... Um, I watched the first 30 seconds of what he was saying, which then prompted me to make this video in order to react to it. And the reason that that is, is because he seemed like he's logical. He seems like a person that can better articulate exactly why he's voting for Kamala Harris. And I found it even more interesting that he switched over from supporting Donald Trump to going to Kamala Harris, right? So I'm going to listen to this and I'm going to try to listen to most of the talking points or obviously I'm going to listen to it in its entirety, but I'm, I'm curious as to what he's going to say, because even when people, um, I talk to people on a regular basis that is saying that they're voting for Kamala Harris and they can't cite any policy. They can't logically convey to me why their family is going to be positively impacted by her being a Democrat. 99% of the time it's identity politics. So let's explore what this man has to say. And then we're going to come back and then I'm going to break it down for you of whether or not I actually align with how it is that he thinks. Cause I don't have to necessarily agree with you, but the reason that you vote for something and all I ever ask people to do is substantiate their arguments. The reason that you vote for something could very well be aligned with a different way in which you operate in your life. Right? So let's see what he has to say. They didn't articulate things that they that 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 they did, okay, and things that they were doing, and things they had already done. They just didn't articulate that. So again, if you watch MSNBC, if you watch CNN, it's Democrat leaning. You watch Fox, it's Republican leaning, right? So, so watching those cable shows really didn't help me. It, it didn't do anything for me because they're so biased towards one political party. But watching the Democratic National Convention and the speakers, uh, the politicians, not, not, not so much the entertainers and the comedians. It wasn't them. It was the, it was the, the politicians, uh, okay. and even Michelle Obama and Barack Obama, their speech really opened it up for me and, and really helped me change my vote, change my vote from Trump to Kamala Harris, and again, what we're looking for in this video is a logical explanation and concrete facts, facts, policies, logical explanation, even if it's just your opinion, to substantiate the argument. So right now he's saying 
okay, uh, and, and it's the politicians. It wasn't entertainment. The entertainment was good, but it was the, the politicians, which I didn't know that Michelle Obama was a politician. It was the politician. It was the speeches that then swayed me towards this. So this is what we're waiting for, and we're waiting for the hammers to drop. And Tim Walls. So, so that's what did it for me. The convention uh, changed my mind. It, it, it gave me a lot of perspective, gave me a lot of perspective. Um, and, um, and, and again, I heard some things that I just never heard. Like, for example, I didn't know that, that the Biden-Harris administration, they had an immigration deal with, with bipartisan support, Republican support, Democrat support. And then Trump started making all kinds of calls and threatening Republicans not to vote for it. And so it, it, it died. It killed the bill. I didn't. So this is why even when it comes out of a politician's mouth, it's a white lie. And let me break this down. And hopefully this, maybe he see it, maybe it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. People going to vote however they're going to vote. I don't really care anymore. But I just want to educate y'all, for example, right? What he said, from a C student's perspective, we're going to break it very, very, uh, down to a C student's perspective. Man, I didn't know that they had bipartisan support and then the Republicans and, and Democrats and they killed the deal. Well, let's put that in perspective, right? They didn't come up with a border deal until they started getting into campaign season, which I'm a, I'm a really educate you so that y'all better understand because I've been covering this over the last two years and I've been mining out all the detail and reading the bills and the policies. And I, so I, I understand what's going on. They didn't come up with this until the end of 2023. By the time that they even started having a conversation about a bipartisan deal, we had over 10 estimated over 10 million people had already crossed the border which exponentially was more in two years than we had seen in literally over a decade and a half. That's number one. Number two, there was no bipartisan deal or support when it came to Trump's administration, which he still made sure that there weren't illegal people coming into this country, which proves to you that you don't need a bipartisan deal in order to secure our borders. And I'm going to prove it to you again, right? But they fought with him extensively about funding and putting extra resources at the border. You still supposed to allow for them to do their job. As a matter of fact, the Biden administration sued Texas. And I keep saying this a lot of times so that y'all can better understand what's going on with immigration and why they're avoiding it, but only using talking points to try to sway people, which obviously they are successful in doing because this man just took their word for it, but he didn't do any research. But yet he said he was a critical thinker. Here's the interesting thing about it, though. They fought Trump tooth and nail on giving any monies on building extra wall, technology, border support, so on and so forth. Yet Trump just continued the same thing that Obama was doing, except that he wanted to do it more because he's not against immigration. He's against illegal immigration into the country. During the Biden-Harris administration, which she was designated and tasked with making sure that she overseen what was going on at the border, they let more people in over the last two years, in the first two years of their administration, then all of Trump, all of Obama, all of that combined. As a matter of fact, Obama was designated as the deporter in chief. That's what the, the nickname that they was giving him, right? On top of that, you don't need a bipartisan deal to secure the border. And why would they sue Texas in order to open up their borders when Texas said that we don't want our borders open, we're going to go ahead and take things in our own hands because they're not working with us. Also, Democrats were against the deal also. And the real cherry on top of it, right, is that the bipartisan deal was tied into other things and they tried to tried to term it as homeland security, which also included funding for additional wars in Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. And one of the reasons why it was a bad deal was because Republicans were saying that this, this should be a separate deal. Some of them were so desperate to just get the border closed off that they was willing to take anything. Others said, hey, listen, this is a separate issue that we need to be dealing with separately from making sure that our borders are secure. So when you say that they have bipartisan support, no, we don't want any additional wars and we don't think that we should be participating yet spending American dollars, tax dollars on proxy wars with other countries through the Ukraines and so on and so forth. The caveat on top of that is that over the last two months since June, since June, as of the recording of this video, it is August, that they have 
practically stop the flooding of the border. It's still people getting over here illegally and they starting to come in from Canada now. They've, they've stopped the flooding into the border without any kind of border deal. Yet they only did that for the last two months. Yet, But for the last three and a half years, we just been seeing them flooding into here. So when y'all have these conversations, I want y'all to do your research just because a politician says it and the way that they're marketing it to you does not mean that it's not a devil in the details. The devil is in the details. Listen to the context. Let me see if there's anything else that he has to say. I didn't know that, okay? And once again, you hear things, but you don't know if it's true, if it's not true, if it's half true. So hearing them lay out, and also hearing Republicans for Kamala, guys like Adam Kissinger, Congressman Adam Kissinger here from uh, 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 Adam Kissinger, I think his name is Kissinger, but he's an Illinois Congressman. Adam Kissinger, I believe. I think I think he beat Debbie uh, uh, Haverson. Haverson. I think he took. He got to get his information together, bro. This is this is sounding. He said he's a critical thinker, uh, and we've had several Democrats or former Democrats, including t uh, a Tulsi Gabbard. We all know how that went when he was when she was waxing Kamala Harris. Her her her, uh, her spot. He's no longer in the Congress, I believe. Uh, but listening to Republicans for for Kamala Harris listening to them lay out the case of why they're voting for her and, and their Republicans really, really swayed me and, 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 and made me, convinced me, I was not made me, but convinced me, really persuaded me uh, as it relates to giving Kamala a second, a, a second chance, looking at her differently, look, looking at her record. Uh, it really, really helped me in my decision making. And so I have to say, no longer voting for Trump. I just I just can't do it. So wait a minute. Is that the only thing that he was going to say as far as what he was able to critically think about, yet it wasn't even a critical thought in it? Come on, black man. Come on, black man. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I, I, I'm rolling with Harris. Harris Walls. I think his name is Adam Kissinger, that congressman. If not, we can talk that out in the comments. I'm not trying to do this video over. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't do videos over because of uh, of of, um, of mistakes and bloops and all of that. Okay, and, and, so, and all right, cool. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, another black man that has decided that uh, he wants to critically think his way into voting for Kamala Harris. I'm curious as to what y'all think. Again, I always like to link back to the content creator, so that'll be down in the description for y'all to support the content creators. Regardless of whether I agree with them or not, again, make sure y'all tap into the Patreon link is in the description. Teach Hanley, 40% off your first order, 20% off for life. Let me know.